Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a very smartly packaged bottle of English wine in front of me. Um, I, it's, well, I'll tell you what it is first. It's a Hoffman and Rathbone um, 2015 Bacchus. And um, I, I, English wine has come on so much in the last few years in quality terms. I have to say in terms of um, packaging, a lot of the time it leaves quite a lot to be desired. So seeing a smart label like that automatically puts you in a good mood towards the wine. Um, I don't think they. I don't know if this is commercially released. I think it's the uh, the first one that they've the first wine that they've uh, that first Bacchus that they've done. They're, they're better known for their sparkling wines. But um, let's give it a go. First, uh, I think first vintage uh, only made of maybe even just a few hundred bottles. And I'm fortunate enough to have one of them. Or am I fortunate? I'd better taste it and find out whether I'm fortunate or not. Oh, I stick my nose in there, and um, there's a few things I noticed. First of all, there's a whiff of sulphur dioxide. I've only just opened, you saw me open the bottle, uh, and there's a, still a little bit of that uh, winemaker's preservative there at the back of the throat. So if you take too big a sniff of it, it has you going, <gasps> if you're a bit, little bit as asthmatic, or if you've just been out on your bike like I just have. Um, but the other thing, it's very Sauvignon-esque, uh, and uh, Bacchus, can, Bacchus is one of these grapes that... Uh, that can do a very, very good passing impersonation of, uh, of Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this weighs in at 11.5% alcohol. I'm not quite sure um, how uh, some people ferment it to get more of a um, slightly old-fashioned um, Women's Institute type floral character in their Bacchus, but here it looks like they've tried to do something that's sharp and precise, yes, yeah, sort of like really good creases in your, in your cuffs. And uh, Anyway, it smells good. It smells enticing, and uh, I'm going to have a good slurp of it. When you come to taste it, um, it's, uh, it's funny, I, I, I was imagining it was going to be a bit more crisp than this. Uh, it's not that it's, it's, it's a flabby wine by any means, but it feels like it's got quite a thick, uh, quite a rich texture to it. It's only 11.5% alcohol. Uh, I'm not sure how they've achieved that, that quite weighty, almost oily texture. Um, there, is, there are the Sauvignon-esque elements, so there is the elderflower, there's the bit of citrus, even a little bit of black currant leaf in there, uh, but there's also a slight, something slightly more uh, heady and floral. Um, maybe not quite going into Gewurztraminer, uh, out and out spicy lychee, but there's something ever so slightly gingery about it. For first vintage, I think it's um, it's delicious, um, and uh, I just hope that uh, when it comes to 2016, which sounds like it's been uh, uh, an even better vintage than 2015, uh, there's more of it and it'll be uh, even more widely available. Uh, as it is, Ulrich, thank you very much for this bottle. I'm enjoying it. Uh, other English winemakers, look at the lovely packaging, take note. Uh, don't copy it, but just find somebody who's uh, not done graphic design at the local, uh, uh, at the local school. Yeah, or, or don't buy your labels from Labels R Us. Put a little bit of effort into your, as much effort into your marketing as you've been doing into your wine quality over the last few, few years. Anyway, good wine. I will be enjoying quite a bit of it later. See you soon.